Hey guys, so I needed to have some extra equipment and some extra fiber to finish up the Kickstarter. This is not the one that I ordered for the sweater. This is for the hats and the socks. This is the um, fiber box. I had to open it the wrong way up because um, I have my address on the other side. Okay, so we're going to turn it over. This is a spinning box. And what it is, is it's a compilation of different fibers and crafting type things that come in a box. So it's like a subscription box, except you have to order it every month. And it was pricey. I think it was, including shipping, it was $60. And the reason that I got, that I got it, because that sounds like so much money, the reason I got it is because the other sources that I found for fiber have been subpar. They have been either cottage type businesses where they used a drum carter and I had a lot of slubs or it was commercial fiber that had been combed and chemical burned within an inch of its life and that was even worse than the cottage type fiber. I'm trying to find a source of really, really good fiber so that when I'm making these gloves and stuff, I really know what I'm getting. Okay, so first things first, Unicorn Power Scour. Now I've tried Natalie at Namaste Farm. I've tried her Dirty Rotten Bastard uh, shampoo and I really, really liked it. But I have no problem with trying this out as well. Um, so there is a trial for that. Very nice. Oh, that is pretty. That looks like handmade paper. Oh goodness. So, it looks like these are the business cards of the people who contributed to this box. So what it is, is it's a box full of small business fiber providers. And wow, that is really pretty. I really like that. So all sorts of business cards from these people that contributed to this box. And it's a way for them to advertise. I don't know how much money they make off of it. It can't be that much. Um... So I think this is more of an advertising um, scheme, not necessarily scheme because you're getting a great product, but an advertising uh, campaign for these people. So that means I will look at everything and see if there's anything I would repurchase. So, okay, so I'm going to put that to the side and I'm going to read this. This is the, the actual... Um, spinning box. Uh, congratulations on snagging a spinning box. We hope you enjoy all the fibers and goodies and they bring you inspiration and joy. Each of the artists included are top-notch fiber artists and want nothing more for you to en mo nothing more than for you to enjoy their beautiful fibers. So please shop their stores for generous discounts and share with your fiber friends. Um, here are some ideas on how to use your spinning box. Take two bats and spin them into singles then two ply for a new unique yarn. Take four bats and divide them into four. Or do a whole box and do a Navajo ply, which is where you use just one string and it's like you're crocheting it as you're spinning it. It's all, that's very interesting. Okay, so we're going to start here. And it's surprising just how much, uh, once something is carded, it's surprising how far it will go. So I'm going to look at each one of these and see if any of them, okay, so again, the reason I got this was because I have been so dissatisfied with the fibers that I have used up to this point. I want not the ones that I've received from Cheryl or from uh, Growing in Faith Farms. Those have been fantastic raw fleeces. What I'm looking for is if I needed to do a project and I didn't have time to hand card it, would I be able to find a source of pre-carded fiber? So I'm not talking about Growing in Faith Farms at all as being subpar. What I'm talking about is the pre-carded fiber that I got for the sweaters was not as good as I wanted it to be. And I'm trying to find a source that I can rely on that would be. So this is really pretty. So this looks like an art bat. You can see that it has some silk in it. And it's not necessarily completely carded in. It's meant to have slubs in it. It's meant to have really pretty slubs in it. So that's really beautiful. 
It's really beautiful. And for, for do you like it? Yeah. Yeah? It's really pretty. It's really pretty, isn't it? And so for what it is, it looks like a superior product for what it is, for what it's meant to be used for. Now, what I'm specifically looking for, let's put that back in there. What I'm specifically looking for, what I really want is some good sock fiber. So that one was Little Creek Alpacas. And it looked absolutely good, gorgeous. Okay, kitchen sink fluff. So yeah, it's meant to be just an art, um, an art bat. So what it has in it is Surrey Alpaca, Huacaya Alpaca, BL, what does BL stand for? Merino, bamboo, silk, cotton, mixed domestic soft wools, mohair, and traces of Firestar. Approximately 2.4 ounces. So that's what that is, and I'm going to hold on to that. So that's an art bat. I don't do a lot of art batsy type stuffs because I don't like slubs. Yeah, that is really pretty. But it's gorgeous, and I could probably think of something that I could use it in. Um, what was that? I just dropped something. Hmm? It's gorgeous, huh? And yeah. this one is lanolin lotion bar oh i would love to keep that next to my spinning table because my hands do get quite dry so it has 100 percent pure lanolin coconut avocado grape seed rosehip seed vitamin e oils and essential oils since lanolin is actually a wax not an oil and creates a barrier on your skin sealing in your natural moisture and all of the nourishing oils use as often as needed scented with tobacco and bay leaf so that's Zuzu Beans Fibers and a lotion bar. And I often think that I'm often having to put some kind of uh, oil or something on my hands when I'm spinning. So that would be fantastic. Again, it was $62. Um, if I wasn't desperate to find a good supplier, I would not have purchased this. Does yeah. she need to go potty? Um, Tina, do you need to go potty? Yeah, go, put her go put her out in the backyard, okay? Okay, so this one is Camage no, Soft Silk. It's a silk cloud. So once again, it is not extremely well carded. It is going to be, oh, I hate, I hate the feel of silk. You know how you get those, that feeling when your tooth touches an ice cube? Silk, because it's extremely dry, makes me, I'm going to put on some of this because I need a barrier between the, it, it makes my hands feel really dry and really gross when I touch silk. I just, it's crazy, I know. Okay, so I'm going to put some of this on my hands really quick. It's not cute. It's a little sheep. Yeah. I'm going to put some of this. What do you think? It smells like mm. a sheep. <laughs> not sure that's a good thing. Wow. Yeah, the, the, the smell yeah. is kind of sheepy. Okay, so I'm going to put that back in there, and now maybe I can stand to handle. The silk is really dry. Clean. Kind. It's really okay, now I can handle to touch it. Okay, so this is again more like an art bat. It is it's not my favorite. I don't like silk to begin with because the the fibers slide past each other. So in order to spin it, you have to do it. So what this would make is like a chunky, slubby um article. I don't like I don't like silk. Okay, I, that, that is not any offense to the person who made this. I, a personal preference, I don't like silk. I don't like chunky, slubby yarn. I prefer a very professional, smooth yarn because what I'm making is shaped and I don't want one part of that shape to be bigger than another part. Yeah. That would be I'm going to have to think about that. It's cloud. Cloud means it hasn't been, it hasn't been fully carded. It's, it's chunky. Ugh. Nothing against it. Again, nothing against it. I need to just keep saying it. Nothing against it. Okay, dyed in the wool. Wow, a sheep dying? Okay. And I like those feathers. Flowers. So this is from a club. Okay, and I like the little the little flowers and yeah. the little that don't you think that's nice? Yeah. I think that's really nice. Okay, so Corydale. I have spun Corydale before. Let's see if we can get it open. I liked Daddy. how this one had multiple cards in it. So if I took one card out, I would have another card in there to remind me that this is what it went to. 
Can we keep the flowers? They're so pretty. They're so pretty, aren't they? I might just leave it with the... Maybe what I should do is do a giveaway with some of the stuff that I wouldn't use. This stuff looks really pretty. Well, Mom, yeah. we would use the thing you wouldn't use. I would be... It's not pretty. I, would... I like that. I want to keep it with it so that I remember that that was the one. So I need to put... Oh, they still have one in there. Okay, so that's okay. So this one is Cory Dale. I want to put that back in there and I want to pull this out. Okay, this would make fantastic socks. So what I'm looking at is look how well everything is meshed together. You can see it's well meshed together. I don't see any slubs. I could make this into a pair of socks really, really easily. See how pretty that is? Yeah. That is lovely. I could yeah. I could make that into socks. So that is what I'm exactly is that looking soft? for. It's very soft. And with it they put in Fiber Pusher Podcast. What does that mean? And they gave me some black tea mm. and a different mm. kind of tea and a decaffeinated tea. I think that is a lovely sentiment. Okay, so this is the one I'm going to put on the left because it is a definite, I will use this now. Okay, here's the next one. Ooh, that's this pretty. one is likewise Ooh. gorgeous. What about that bag right there? I think I'd kind of like to make this into Chantel's gloves because I have the already kind of purple ones. Okay, don't 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 mush it though, because we want it to stay together. Okay, we're not gonna we're not gonna mush it. This I one is Falkland. I've never spun Falkland. I saw some blueness at the top. Okay, my name is Alice Hallowed, and I'm the owner of Handmade Hall Hollows. My mom taught me how to crochet as a little girl, and I taught myself to knit as a teenager. Wow. So she had a friend that left her fiber in a spindle. Started spinning about four years ago. And she likes to take fiber fresh off the sheep and sheep, sheep and turn it into beautiful bats. bats. I like this one. Bats. I like this. so for this one I could use a keyword of spinning box for twenty percent off at handmade hollows at Etsy dot Etsy dot com. So can everybody see that? Spinning box for twenty percent off. Okay. One. This one is likewise gorgeous. Please don't sit on the fiber, honey. Look at that. Can you can you stand up for me Look and at scoot that back? And back? I know. So this one is likewise exactly what I want. I'm looking at it and I'm not seeing any, any, any slubbing. If you want me to buy your items, I do not want slubs because it means I have to stop spinning and pick those slubs in, out in order for my um, project to be professional. And I want my project to be professional because I want it to last a lifetime. If I want it to last a lifetime and not have little balls of fiber popping out, there cannot be slubs in it. So that one, I likewise, I'm going to, in fact, I'm going to put it in here with the other one because those are I fantastic. I like that little orange bag. This yeah, one? Yeah, and it has some thing in oh, it. Do you know what's in here? A bracelet. Oh. How did you know? It looks a little bit like it. <gasps> Look at that. By the way, I love my GoPro. Did I already say that once in this video? Oh my goodness, is that gorgeous? Uh -huh. Can I try it on? No. It's but you can pull the cords and close it up. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, and cool. Okay, so who made that? It doesn't say. Okay, and then we have a Sleeping Bear Farms Honey Stick. Wow, that's I think that's pretty. Okay, calm down, calm down, calm down, calm down. This would be for use in like a tea or something. You would bite the end of that and then put it in your tea. I think that's a really fun idea. Yeah. Okay, so I'm getting to the point where I'm like, you know, I would buy this every month because it would allow me to have, right now I don't have a stockpile of fiber. What I have is raw fiber and it needs to be processed, but for a quick project to be able to just sit down and, and spin, please stop. Scoot back and calm down. Thank you. For a quick project that somebody made a request, this would be really nice to have. Um, okay, so this one... Is, is alpaca bean the bean coffee? Oh, wow. Okay. Um, I'm trying to read it and I'm having a hard time. It's so tiny. Okay, so this coffee is imported from the lands of the alpaca, Peru and Bolivia. So it's a custom blend. And it's for alpaca research. 20% of their net profit goes to alpaca research. So that's fantastic. Coffee. Yeah. We'll have to let Daddy try that. Yep. 
All right. Isn't that a pretty, pretty bag? Can we have it? I don't know. I kind of think I'd like to put a present in, in it for somebody. Like me on my birthday? Oh, well, that would be exciting, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, because it's really neat. Okay, what is this? It's like another bracelet. I don't know what it is. It's a Swarovski crystal. Crystal? That's is a crystal. that for... I think these are for, like, spinning into your creation. You can actually put these on a thread that then is one of your layers in your beautiful fiber. In fact, I think it would go really, really well with that green. You you thread these onto a thread, and then you push them on as you spin every couple feet or every six inches. You'll you'll let your thread run out with these on it, and it'll put a bead into your into your pretty art yarn. That would go really well with that. Yeah. All right, on we go. Okay, these are dryer balls. Wow. wow. And you put them in your and you put them in your dryer, and I believe it helps things dry out faster. Is what I understand. Aren't those pretty sweet yeah. sheep wool dryer balls? It's supposed to improve the efficiency of your dryer. You don't put them in the washer. That one's real pretty. Isn't it real pretty? Mm -hmm. yeah. My goodness. Okay, so I'm putting things on this side that I might do as a giveaway. This one I really like it, but I'm not sure what I make out of it. We'll make okay, so we have Camage Fiber Arts. This is gorgeous. Yeah. Stripey. It is stripey. Yeah. Okay, custom blended merino, bamboo corydale, and soybean for your spinning pleasure. Oh my gosh, I don't even know how I would spin with it. It's so gorgeous, just as it is. I'd want to leave it in the package. Yeah. Uh, use coupon co co code soft silk for 10% off your next order at Camage Fiber Arts. Oh my gosh, is that gorgeous? Yeah. It makes me really sad that I've missed some of the other. I didn't even know these guys existed. I think they've. I think this is only the second month that they've been doing it. I missed the one last month because I, I just didn't have the money. I didn't have the confidence in them. But this package is just. Isn't that beautiful? Hey, it kind of matches the bracelet a little bit. Well, we're oh, we're gonna that. see. Yeah, that's really and good. this is gorgeous. Wow, it's my favorite color. I just I've never used a a hand painted 